Oh no, you've finally caught that one shiny Pokemon you've been hunting hours for, and it has the right nature, but it doesn't have the right IVs! Does this mean it's destined to be in a box forever? Don't worry, because I'm Mike from Poketips Official, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you could make almost any Pokemon stronger using Hyper Training in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So this is going to be a complete guide on Hyper Training, how to Hyper Train, where Hyper Training takes place, and how you can get the items that you need so you'll be able to Hyper Train your Pokemon whenever you want. But also before we start the tutorial, I just want to announce that I'm doing a Pokemon Crystal Giveaway. Pokemon Crystal is coming out on the Nintendo eShop next week, and I thought a great way to celebrate 30,000 subscribers and also the re-release of Pokemon Crystal would to be to give one lucky winner a copy of Pokemon Crystal. So the winner of this contest will get a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card. The game itself is only going to cost $10, but with the taxes, I want to make sure that you could get it without any issues. So I'm going to be giving away a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card. To win, all you have to do is three things. First off, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. Second off, give this video a big thumbs up. And third, leave a comment down in the comment section below saying that I am entering the contest. I'll be announcing the winner sometime between the 24th and the 26th. So best of luck, and now back to the guide. Alright, so start things off, what is Hyper Training? Well, Hyper Training is a new method of training your Pokemon that was introduced back in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Basically, what it would do is allow you to take one of your Pokemon that was at level 100 and increase your Pokemon's IVs all the way up to 31, the maximum. Now a quick thing to note here, Hyper Training doesn't actually raise your Pokemon's IVs, it only makes them appear to be at 31. Now in normal circumstances like battling, this is going to be great, but it's important to keep this in mind with breeding and hidden powers. So now that we know what Hyper Training is, how do we go ahead and actually do this? Now, Hyper Training itself is pretty easy. The only thing that you're going to need is the Pokemon that you want to Hyper Train to be at level 100. And in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, it is extremely easy to raise your Pokemon all the way up to level 100. I've made two excellent videos on how you can easily train your Pokemon and get more EXP, so if you haven't seen those videos already, I'm going to link both of them on the screen right now as well as in the description below, so definitely go ahead and check them out after you're done watching this video, because they will definitely change the way that you train in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and make it much faster and much easier for you to get Pokemon all the way up to level 100. Now, once you have your Pokemon all set at level 100, just head over to Howley City and go to the mall. This time, we're not here for shopping though. Head all the way to the back and go a little bit to the right and you'll see a man standing around with a red shirt on. His name is Mr. Hyper and when you talk to him, he will hyper train your Pokemon. Now, it would be great if he would do it for free, but he wants something in return. He really likes bottle caps. So, there are two different types of bottle caps, the silver bottle cap and the gold bottle cap. If you give him the silver bottle cap, he'll go ahead and hyper train one of your Pokemon stats, but if you give him the rare golden bottle cap, he will hyper train all of your Pokemon stats at once. So, when you have the bottle cap, this process takes like 5 seconds, it's not even that long, and definitely not hard to do at all. So, now that we know how easy hyper training is, how do we go ahead and get ourselves some of these amazing bottle caps to trade to Mr. Hyper. In Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, there are plenty of different ways to get silver bottle caps, and there aren't really that many ways to get golden bottle caps, so for now, I'm only going to be talking about how you can get silver bottle caps in these games. Now, like I said, with silver bottle caps, there are lots and lots of ways to get them, so I'm going to be giving you my two favorite ways to get bottle caps over and over and over again, and they are extremely easy. By the time that you're done with this, you will have plenty of bottle caps for yourself, and will be able to hyper train as many Pokemon as you want. Now the first way is by fishing. This method is not my preferred method because it is really luck based, however it does work. When you're on Pony Island and you fish in the water, whenever you fish in one of those rippling water spots, you'll have a chance of getting a bottle cap whenever you reel in your rod. A great spot that you could do this over and over and over again is by heading over to the Pony Breaker Coast. Now down here you're going to find a spot with rippling water. Now the thing that makes this location so good for doing this is if you just walk up a few steps you'll be on a different route. So if you walk up and then walk back down, that rippling spot will reset. So 
let's say you go ahead and fish and then you don't find it, then you could just walk up a little bit, you'll walk back down and that water should be rippling over again and it takes a few seconds to just walk up and down and then cast your rod into the water. By doing this, you could easily farm bottle caps with little effort, however, once again, it is luck based, so you might get really lucky and find a whole bunch quickly, or you might get unlucky and take a long time to find one. So that's the first method, but if you're like me and you're feeling a little bit unlucky, with this next method, it'll be extremely easy to get yourself unlimited amounts of bottle caps once you get this method all set up. So my favorite and the easiest way to get bottle caps in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is by going to the Festival Plaza. Now once you get to level 8 in the Festival Plaza, which isn't that hard, you only need around 211 coins to get to level 8, you could go ahead and start talking to NPCs in the Festival Plaza and asking them about their facilities. Facilities. Now, if you go ahead and find somebody with a facility that's called Treasure Hunt Level 2, you could go ahead and basically get infinite amounts of bottle caps. So I'm going to go into the Festival Plaza. I have an NPC inside of there right now that I know has the Treasure Hunt Level 2. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to her over here. I'm also going to add her to my VIP list. And basically adding a guest to your VIP list means that they won't go away. So you could keep on using this method over and over and over again once you find a guest that has the facility that you're looking for. So the nice thing is once you get this treasure hunt two stars, like we're going to go ahead and get it here, the first time that you go ahead and play the game treasure hunt two stars, it's always going to go ahead and give you the bottle cap. So we're just going to go ahead and save our game over over here and all right we're installing the treasure hunt 2 star so let's go and check it out and get ourselves a wonderful bottle cap and here we are the freshly installed treasure hunt 2 star so we're gonna go ahead and play the game over here we're gonna draw ourselves a lotto ticket and what will we get what will we get and we won prize number two a bottle cap so the nice thing is, since we saved the person that has the Treasure Hunt 2 star, we can just go ahead and keep going back in there, changing out this little spot here, and basically by doing this, we could just keep buying bottle caps over and over again for 150 festival coins. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to any random NPC in the festival plaza, and then just go ahead and set another place on top of where I just installed Treasure Hunt 2 star. So not him, because his thing costs 100 FC. I want somebody that will only give, will only cost me 50 FC. FC. So maybe this guy will do it over here. Miles. So yes, Rare Kitchen 1 star, we're gonna go ahead and install that over the treasure hunt because we're done with that now. And then boom, we'll just go back and talk to the NPC that gives us the treasure hunt 2 star location. We'll talk to them all over again and we can just keep on repeating this process until we run out of festival coins. So by doing this method, you could basically get infinite bottle caps with very little effort. The hardest thing is finding somebody that has that treasure hunt 2 star. If you do it with any of the other treasure hunt levels, it's not going to give you the guaranteed bottle cap every time that you talk to them. And remember, the guaranteed bottle cap is only the first time after you install the treasure hunt 2 star. After that, if you keep on playing it, it will just give you a random item. So like I was saying, the hardest part is just going to be going ahead and finding that person with the treasure hunt 2 star. Once you do that, save them to your VIP list and you will be able to just do this over and over and over again and get infinite bottle caps. Now this is where you guys come in. So if any of you guys know that you had the treasure hunt 2 star and want to share it with other people, go ahead and let them know in the comment section below because this will allow everybody to get infinite bottle caps and go ahead and let people max out those IVs and hyper train their Pokemon. So now this leaves one last question. How do you easily get festival coins so you can go ahead and get lots and lots of bottle caps. Well, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, there are two methods that I really like for getting festival coins. The first one is by using the new Battle Agency. Now, if you guys played a Pokemon game that has the Battle Frontier, this is going to seem very familiar to you, because this is basically a battle factory. You go in, you use some random Pokemon, and then you try to win as many battles as possible. And once you win three in a row, you get a ridiculous amount of festival coins. As long as you win battles, you do get festival coins, and you even get a few for losing, but once you win three in a row, that's when you get ridiculous amounts of festival coins. For example, the first time you do it, you get 200 coins for winning three battles in a row, and it only goes up from there. And the second way is by doing missions. 
so you can go ahead and talk to the lady outside of the entrance of the castle in Festival Plaza, and she will go ahead and offer you some missions to do to go ahead and get Festival Coins. One of the easy ones that I like to do to get a lot of Festival Coins is doing the Type Matchup Challenge, where basically you just run around, talk to the people in the Festival Plaza, and tell them what type would be super effective against what they're requesting. Assuming you get all the questions right, this is a very quick and easy way to get at least 30 coins, and if you combine that with all the coins that you get from the battle agency, you'll have so many coins and be able to buy as many bottle caps as you want. Alright trainers, and that's gonna wrap this video up. You now are an expert on hyper training and how you can get yourself unlimited amounts of bottle caps in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If this video helped you out, definitely show it some love by hitting that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, don't forget to ring that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I also want to take a quick moment just to say thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it, guys. You guys have really been showing me lots and lots of love here on YouTube, and I really do appreciate it. I am very grateful for everything, and I'm glad that with this Pokemon Crystal contest, I could give something back, and although it may only go out to one winner, it's my way of saying thank you to everybody for the success that we have built together as a community. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great day.